hey guys welcome back to our channel if you are new here my name is chanel the owner of three balls handmade soaps and more and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this liquid soap this is my second attempt and it turned out way better than the first time so let's get started all right y'all so as always i have everything laid out on my table that i'm going to be using and yes i am using this vegetable glycerin again but this time it worked and this right here is my new stick blender that i absolutely love so far um right here i got my scale the moment of course all my bowls my spatulas and this little thingy right here i keep forgetting what it's called but that saved me in my last video but anyway and my crock pot so now let me clean out my table and then we'll get started all right so right here i am just weighing out my oils and for this soap i kept it very simple i pretty much just used the same oils as my other liquid soap video so i used the coconut oil the olive oil and the castor oil right here i'm just melting down this coconut oil i'm adding this to my crock pot to go ahead and melt this down and then i'm going to add in my other two oils While I melt down these oils, if you guys are interested in seeing my other liquid soap video, um, that video was a disaster. <laughs> but, well, not really a disaster, but um, I did show you guys th that was just a horrible soap day for me. And um, I pretty much shared it with you all. So if you want to see that, that video will be linked down below. So right here, I'm just adding the castor oil in with the rest of my oils, and then I'm just going to let them all heat up together. So right now I'm just checking my temp and I accidentally stuck my thermometer in the oils. Don't do that. But so we're sitting at 139.5 and I want my oils to be around 150, somewhere in there. All right, so right here, I am just weighing out my water. Now for this recipe, since I am doing the water and the glycerin, I only did, I, well, I did half water and half glycerin. So I had just enough water to mix in with my sodium hydroxide and my potassium hydroxide. Now right here, I was pouring, that was me pouring in the potassium hydroxide, which was like the flakes. Now this is the sodium hydroxide. All right, so now I'm just pouring up my, well, weighing out my vegetable glycerin. Now this is supposed to help the soap reach trace a lot faster and it definitely worked. All right, so now I'm outside with my potassium hydroxide as well as my sodium hydroxide. When you're working with this stuff, y'all, please protect yourself. In my last video, I had a little, well, not a little, it pretty much was like a volcano, but go check that video out. That will be listed down below. All right, so right now I'm just going to slowly add in both of these, my potassium hydroxide as well as my sodium hydroxide into my water. And then I'm just going to stir it up until it turns clear. so once i was back inside i just checked the temp of my oils to see where i was sitting at and it said 155.5 so i'm just going to slowly add in my last my water loss solution and then i'm going to go in with the glycerin right now i'm just i don't know why i turned it on i meant to burp it first and then turn it on but so this right here is my water lie and again i did i split my liquid in half half of that was the water the other half was the vegetable glycerin so 
So I just wanted to blend this up, my waterline and my oils, just a little bit before I did add in the glycerin. All right, so once I blended up my oils and my waterline to my liking, I then went in with the vegetable glycerin. Adding the vegetable glycerin after you've added the waterline to your oils is definitely a game changer as opposed to just using straight water. I didn't speed up this next part because I wanted y'all to see just how quick my soap came to trace as opposed to when you add just water and that's in that other video that, that will be listed down below. But this soap came to trace so quick, but just watch and see. All right, so did y'all see that? Did y'all see how quick that came to trace? All right, so now I'm just going to continue to stick blend until I just cannot stick blend anymore. All right, so now it was definitely getting harder to stick blend. As you can see, I was shaking my camera and my table. But now I'm just going to clean off my stick blender and stir this up with my spatula and just put the lid on and it's going to go through other different phases um, like applesauce and taffy and it's going to look like petroleum jelly and all the other stuff but i will definitely show you guys each time i check So this was about 30 minutes after I put the lid on. Within the first hour, I usually check mine like twice every 30 minutes. And then after that, it's like 45 minutes to an hour. And I pretty much just, like I said, just stir it. Each time I check it, you want to stir it up and you just put the lid back on. Then once you're done stirring it up and you will see the different stages like right here, it kind of looks like, um, I don't know, kind of still resembles mashed potatoes to me a little bit right here in this stage. All 
All right, so now we're at the one hour mark. And now it's starting to look like applesauce to me just a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to, like I said, just stir it each time I check it. And we're just going to put the lid back on. All right, so right here we are about two hours in, and you can tell it's starting to look a little translucent, just a little bit, but we're not there yet. So I'm just going to stir this up and again, just put the lid back on it. So here we are. This right here is about three hours or so later. And I'm just going to continue to stir it up. It's not ready yet. So we're just going to stir it up. And then we're just going to put the lid back on it. And we're just going to continue to repeat the same step. Like I say, every hour you just want to check it until the whole thing is like translucent. So about four and a half, almost five hours later, um, here is what my soap paste is looking like. It is very, very, very much translucent. Literally everything, the whole thing is translucent. So right now I'm just fixing to get ready to uh, test my paste. Now remember when testing the paste, if the water is milky, then we need to cook it a little bit longer. If it's cloudy, we need to cook it a little bit longer, just a little bit. And if it is clear, then we're good to go. And to test the paste, all I did was just a little bit, maybe like two ounces or so of uh, hot distilled water. And then, like I said, I just dropped a little bit of the paste in there you want it to dissolve I had most of it dissolved so I, those two little pieces I wasn't gonna sit there and just wait on those two little, little pieces to dissolve so but now once my water was clear it was then time for me to go ahead and add to well get ready to dilute my paste all right so right here I am just adding in this distilled water to dilute my paste now I always start out with a two to one. So that's like if my soap is 20 ounces, I'm gonna do 40 ounces of distilled water. I always end up needing a little bit more than that. So I always end up with like 2.5 to one ratio to um, dilute my paste, but I just want to throw that in there. So right now I am just going to break this soap paste up to kind of help it dissolve a little bit better. And this is me just adding in a little bit more water because I just didn't think that it was, I don't know, I just needed more water in my opinion. So once I was done adding in all of my water, I continued just to break it up a little bit more and then I put the lid on there and turned off my crock pot and just let it sit overnight.
So here I am about two days later. I did let this sit. I had a few things to do, so therefore I just let this sit on my table. And y'all look at that. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but do you see how it, it just looks? It kind of looks like syrup a little bit, kind of thick a little bit. But so now I am just going to try attempt. Y'all gonna see me make a mess in a second, but don't don't do what I do here. But anyway, working with the potassium hydroxide, I definitely noticed the difference in working with just potassium hydroxide by itself and then doing the dual lie method. With the dual lie method, y'all look at that mess I make right here. But with the dual lie method, it definitely was a lot more thicker than just straight potassium by itself. So. I highly, highly, highly recommend you do the dual lot method if you do it this way. Or else it's going to be kind of like watery, kind of runny a little bit, I guess. But you'll see the two in a sec when I put the two side by side. here I'm just showing you guys the pH test that I forgot to show you but um yeah so right now looks like we're sitting at a 10 we're on the higher end but we're still in a decent range so I'm gonna roll with it this isn't for sale this is for my home so it's fine all right now right here is the two side by side the one on the left was done in the previous video the one the darker one is the one that i just did in this video right here but do you see how do can you see the difference i hope you guys can see the difference that one the one that i'm turning right now well not this one this one is the one that we just did with the potassium and the sodium hydroxide the lighter one was the one with just strictly potassium so but now i'm just going to show you guys see how fast that came out literally almost like water now watch the other one when I show this one. That one kind of, I absolutely love the one that I just did. The dual line method, I'm gonna do that again. Um, next time, I'm, I'm trying to get more comfortable with doing it this way. And then I want to eventually work on adding colors as well as playing around with some essential oils in there. So we're gonna see how this goes, but I, I'm definitely um, going to continue to make this liquid soap. I really did enjoy making it the second time around. The first time gave me a headache, but this time I really enjoyed it. So that's all I have for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider leaving us a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.